and permutations. Combination and permutation part two. All right, so let's look here. Let's say we have a red, green, blue, yellow, and orange block. And we want to pick them two at a time. So let me lift this up a little. There we go. So here's all the combinations we can have. Because you remember, in combinations, you can't repeat it. So a red and a green, you can't have a green and a red with combinations. If you remember from the last video, if you go into a, a fast food store and you order burgers, fries, and a shake, you won't turn around and say, no, give me a shake, burgers, and fries. It's the same thing. So that's what combinations. Remember in combinations that you can't have the same thing, even if it was switched, right? So it's red, green. You can't have green, red. So here's all the combinations, two at a time. And you can see we have 10 combinations. Now, there's a way of doing this without counting or without creating all the combinations. Now, with this, it's easy. You just it's, There's not many to create. So now I'll put the formula up. So here's the formula. And it has, you should be familiar with the factorial symbol from last video. So we have here, the n is going to be the set. It's the amount we have. And k is going to be the subset. And we're going to do n minus k. So, for example, in the last video, not the last video, in the last slide, we had five blocks. Five times four times three times two, right? That's five factorial. And k would be two at a time. We're picking two at a time. And then n minus k would be three. Five minus two is three. So let's lift this up. So now you can see we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, 3 times 2, and just 2 times 1. So what do you think we can do here? We can get rid of the 3 and the 2 right away. Right? So let me do that. Let's see. We get rid of the 3 and the 2. They cancel out. So you're left with 5 times 4 divided by 2. 20 divided by 2. So we have 20 divided by 2 over equals 10. Let's try one. Let's say we had these blocks. A couple of blocks here. One more over here. Now we have six blocks. Right? Let's say we let's just say they're letters, letter blocks that you had when you were in kindergarten. And you want to take two at a time. How many combinations can you make? two at a time. So we can draw them, right? We can say we can have an A and a B. We can have an A and a C. We can have an A and a D. We can have an A and an E, and so forth. But what if we did by the formula? So again, we have N factorial, right? And then we're going to have K factorial. N is the set. And then we're going to have N minus K factorial. That's our formula for combinations. So the n is our set. We have 6, so we'll just change that to 6. That's going to be 6 factorial. And the k is 2 at a time, so that'll be 2 factorial. And 6 minus 2, 6 minus 2 is 4, so that'll be 4 factorial. So what do you think the answer would be? So here we have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. We don't care about the 1. And over here, with 4 factorial, we're going to have 4 times 3 times 2. And, you know, we just get rid of them. So we're left with just 6 times 5, which is 30 over 2. We should have 15 combinations. Now, if you, if you want to check, again, we have an AB. We have an AC, AD. A E and an A F. That's all the A's, right? There's one, two, three, four, five. So we have five of those. And then with the B, we have a B C, a B D, a B E, a B F. That's four. So far we have nine. And then we can do the same with C. We're going to have a C D, a C E, and a C F. Fix that C. That's three. And then it goes. It keeps going down. 
the D would be 2, the E would be 1. So we have 4, 5, 4 is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 combinations. Okay, try this one. We have 7 blocks. We want to take them 2 at a time. How many combinations can we have? Try with the formula. Okay, so here we have 7 is our N. That's our set. 2 is our K. 7 minus 2 is 5. As you can see, we did the factorials on the top. We got rid of the 5, 4, 3, and the 2. And we're just left with 7 times 6, which is 42. Divided by 2 is 21. So we have 21 combinations. Ooh. So let's make blocks now for permutation. Let's say we had an A, and then we had a B, and a Q, just to spice it up a little bit, right? A Z, whatever. And now, who, what do you think the other letter will be? Quick. G. All right, we got it. So let's say we had those five blocks, and we'll do a permutation and a combination. Well, first let's do the combination. Well, again, we have N is five, and we want to get them two at a time. So we'll have two factorial and three, because five minus two is three. So you'll be left with 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, 3 times 2, 20 over 2 is 10. So we know the combination. Permutations are a little easier to remember. The formula is just n factorial over n minus k factorial. So we have 5 for n, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2, and then we have 3 times 2, just be 20. So there's 20 permutations. There was 10 combinations, 20 permutations. Okay, now there's other things to do with, com with permutations that we'll talk about in another video. It's when you have, you allow repetition, but we're not going to get into that right away. So, instead of using blocks, we use triangles, whatever. All right. So, let's, uh, again, we have an A, a B, a C, a D, E, F, G, and H. Right. So, let's say I want to take these three at a time. How many permutations can I have? Three at a time. Try that. So we do have 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 is our N. Right? So we have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. And of course, there's 1 there, but we don't need it. And it's just N minus K. We wanted them 3 at a time, so that would be just 5. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. They cancel out. And what are we left with? So if you did 8 times 7 is 56, times 6 is 186, so it'll be 186. 186 permutations you can have. Okay, so we did permutations and combinations. Great job.